Igor Stravinsky composed almost all his music sitting at the piano. And it's because he was a wonderful pianist and he liked to explore. He discovered amazing sounds. There must be a lot of sounds he didn't use, but some of the ones he did, some of the most characteristic sounds in his music are ones that happen to lie under the fingers. People think that Stravinsky's music is sort of weird and something. I think he just finds these things and can't resist using them. This sound here, anybody who knows it will say, ah, that's the opening chord of the Symphony of Psalms. Well, if you don't know the Symphony of Psalms, you don't know that, but if you do, you do. It's two E minor chords spaced pretty far apart with two extra Gs, so there's a lot of Gs, and it's just barely playable by the hands, but it is. Or this sound from his ballet Petrushka about a puppet at a Russian country fair. Very interesting kind of squeeze box sound. Petrushka is also famous for this sound. The combination of two different perfectly normal chords. These are brand new sounds at the time and people think they're very strange, but I think Stravinsky just finds them fooling around. The same kind of thing happens in the Rite of Spring. He finds amazing sounds and uses them. The opening dance of the Rite of Spring is many, 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 many repetitions of the same chord with occasional accents. And so on. It's a great sound, but it's quite simple, actually. You could think of it as this chord, plus this chord, both perfectly normal chords, put them together, and you get a typical Stravinsky, totally new, totally characteristic sound.